Fluffy's Lucky Day. Written by Kate McCullen. Illustrated by Mavis Smith. I love green. Today is our lucky day, Miss Day told her class. It is, thought Fluffy. Oh boy! We have a visitor from Ireland, said Miss Day. This is Mr. Kelly, Jasmine's grandfather. He has come to tell us about St. Patrick's Day and about the green land of Ireland. I love green, thought Fluffy. Mr. Kelly had a green shirt and a green vest. He had on green pants and green shoes. He wore a red scarf around his neck. Top of the morning to you, said Mr. Kelly. I love green. Me too, thought Fluffy. Ireland has green, green grass, said Mr. Kelly. I love grass, thought Fluffy. Ireland has hills of green clover, said Mr. Kelly. I love clover, thought Fluffy. Take me to Ireland. On St. Patrick's Day, said Mr. Kelly, everyone in Ireland wears green, even the leprechauns. He walked to Fluffy's play yard. He picked Fluffy up. He said, a leprechaun is a wee one, no bigger than this guinea pig. Hey, who are you calling a wee one? thought Fluffy. Leprechauns always tell the truth, said Mr. Kelly. They are grumpy and very rich. Every leprechaun has a pot of gold. I wish I had a pot of gold, said Emma. Me too, everyone said. Me too! Fluffy was not sure what gold was, but everyone wanted a pot of it, so Fluffy wanted one too. If you catch a leprechaun, you can get his gold, said Mr. Kelly. How? asked Maxwell. Yeah, how? thought Fluffy. Keep your eye on him, said Mr. Kelly. He cannot disappear while you're looking at him. He will try to get away. Oh, yes. He will try to trick you. But keep looking at him. At last, he will give up and show you where his gold is hidden. Have you ever seen a leprechaun? asked Wade. I've caught one, said Mr. Kelly. He is in my pocket. Mr. Kelly reached into his pocket Come on out, Tom, he said. Fluffy's eyes grew big. He couldn't wait to see a wee one. Oh, my stars, said Mr. Kelly. Tom has disappeared. If you see him, keep your eye on him and catch him. Fluffy did not see Tom, but he hoped he would. Then he would catch him and get his pot of gold. After all, thought Fluffy, today is my lucky day. Fluffy meets a leprechaun. Will you stay for our St. Patrick's Day party? Miss Day asked Mr. Kelly. We're having green cupcakes, said Emma. With green sprinkles, said Jasmine. I'll stay, said Mr. Kelly. Fluffy closed his eyes. He pictured Ireland. He saw green grass and green clover and green beans and all sorts of good green things to eat. Fluffy saw himself dressed in green with a red scarf around his neck. Fluffy walked down a green road. He heard a noise. Tap! Tap! Fluffy looked behind a bush. A leprechaun, thought Fluffy. Top of the morning to you, leprechaun, Fluffy said. The leprechaun jumped. Oh, my stars, he said. Fluffy looked at the leprechaun. Where is your pot of gold, Fluffy said. 
Over there, said the leprechaun. He pointed. In the field. See it? Fluffy was about to turn his head. Then he remembered. He had to keep looking at the leprechaun. You can't trick me, said Fluffy. He kept his eyes on the leprechaun. I give up, said the leprechaun. I will take you to my gold. Fluffy smiled. Let's go, he said. The leprechaun led Fluffy to a field of weeds. My gold is buried here, he said, under this weed. Fluffy knew the leprechaun was telling the truth. I will get a shovel, Fluffy said. I will dig up your gold. Fluffy had to find this weed again, so he tied his red scarf to it. Do not take that scarf off while I'm gone, said Fluffy. I won't, said the leprechaun. Fluffy knew the leprechaun was telling the truth. He ran home for a shovel, but when he came back, he got a big surprise. A red scarf, just like his, was tied to every weed. Which weed was it? said Fluffy. There was no way to tell. The leprechaun told the truth, thought Fluffy. But he tricked me. Now I will never find his pot of gold. Fluffy heard someone laughing. He knew it was the leprechaun. Fluffy's lucky day. The laughing grew louder. Fluffy opened his eyes. He was not in green, green Ireland. He was in his play yard. All the kids were laughing. They were having fun at their St. Patrick's Day party. I guess I'm not invited, thought Fluffy. This is not my lucky day. Fluffy went to his food bowl. He looked in it. He saw something. A leprechaun, said Fluffy. Go away, said the leprechaun. I am taking a nap. Fluffy said, Are you Tom? The leprechaun said, Maybe yes, maybe no. Why should I tell you? You are Tom, said Fluffy. And you are grumpy, Tom frowned. So what, he said. All leprechauns are grumpy. All leprechauns are rich, too, said Fluffy. I want your gold. Tom pointed to the far end of the play yard. A pot of gold is over there, he said, but it is your gold. Fluffy smiled. You can't trick me, he said. I will not look over there. Have it your way, said the leprechaun. But I'm telling you, the pot of gold is there. The leprechauns always tell the truth. Is this a trick? Fluffy wondered. He tried to keep one eye on Tom. He tried to look at the pot of gold with the other eye. But he could not do it. I'm going to look, said Fluffy. Do you promise not to move while I turn my head? Tom nodded. I promise, he said. Fluffy knew the leprechaun was telling the truth. Fluffy turned his head. He saw a little pot. Could it be a pot of gold? Fluffy turned back to Tom. But Tom was gone. Hey, said Fluffy. You promised. Fluffy heard Tom laughing. I promise not to move while you turned your head to look, said Tom. But I never said I wouldn't move while you turned your head back. Rats, thought Fluffy, tricked again. He ran over to the pot. He looked inside. Inside the pot, there were bits of golden corn. So this is gold, thought Fluffy. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Fluffy, said all the kids. 
What do you know, thought Fluffy, as he ate some corn. It's my lucky day, after all. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to subscribe. Want to check out the last story we read? Here's the link. Do you have a favorite book that you want read aloud? Leave it in the comments below.